Recently, I played through Destiny 2 Lightfall with the help of some friends to keep me from going insane trying to figure out what the veil is. Pretty sure Bungie doesn't know what it is either. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins with a recap of the relevant information you need to know for the campaign, which boils down to Harrison Ford is coming to visit to do something bad, but we don't know what, and he borrowed our old friend Chodehead to stand in as the villain of this DLC because Bungie still needs Harrison Ford for the next DLC, so he's just gonna kinda stand around for this one. Cut to the battle between the Death Egg and Harrison Ford, which is just a kindergarten playground piss fight where they point at each other and magic powers happen that are mostly just spectacle and don't do any lasting damage. Well, unless you're this guy. Harrison Ford has a vision about the Veil, and Osiris just knows that it happened somehow, so we've gotta stop Chodehead from reaching the Veil or else there'll be dire consequences like making our clothes feel a little bit damp all of the time. We bum a ride on one of Chodehead ships and fire at some enemies, but there's actually some glass in the way, which I'm pretty sure is what everyone did here. Don't lie. Osiris lets us know that Chodehead is after the veil, and if he gets his hands on it, then there will be dire consequences, like feeling that we still have to shit after having just gone, but then it never comes out and it still feels like you need to shit, so you either just give up and deal with the discomfort, or sit on the toilet till your legs go numb. After killing an enemy named after the thing that Bungie's doing to their player base, Matt locks us out of the bridge and we break the core of the ship, because if we're not allowed to have nice things, then no one is. We hop over to another ship to overload the engines. Yeah, well, you don't like the dark below? That's what I call my butthole. I'm friends with this guy. Don't man. want to double think that. <laughs> You're friends with my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Is your butthole a man? Like specifically your butthole? I mean, I wouldn't call my butthole feminine. <laughs> He's just a little guy. <laughs> what is it with destiny and being weirder than normal? It's it's the power of the light. That's what it is. The light, which is what happens when I'm sunning my ass. I'm talking about your ass. But it's a nice ass. It's a nice regular ass that no one would ever comment about. <laughs> I'm inclined to disagree. Not that it's not a nice ass, but I would compliment it. That's more of what I was saying. Yeah, whether or you can take it off. But I don't want it. Well, fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's it, Destiny's, Destiny brings out weird things because I just had another intrusive thought, which was, yeah, fuck you, compliment my ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is like, Destiny is the, the, is the game where the weird shit happens. Chat, Will needs to do a raid with us. No, I do not. Oh god, no. He, he needs to do a raid with us. I have a hard time dealing with two people. I don't want to deal with five people. Oh, he's scared of other people. Not scared. Scared is the wrong word. Turned on, question mark? Turned on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the problem with five people in a group <laughs> chat is that I'm just too fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, when I look at that number of subscribers on my channel, oh. We set the ship to scuttle and kill another Tormentor, and I hope you like these guys because they reuse them like 15 more times throughout this campaign. And borrow those space potato drop pods that everyone in the Trost land always gets crushed by so that we can do some crash landing in a Neptune, which, surprise, has a city in it despite the fact that it's made entirely of gas because, uh, sci-fi gobbledygook. We're contacted by Neptune's local police force who asks us if we're with the invasion force, so we tell them no and they just believe us. And we kill our way through the newly appointed residents of the city where we find a big green pillar of sci-fi gobbledygook that changes the genre into a strand type game Game, which we're only allowed to use for a little bit before we get a tummy ache. So we cut to a scene where we meet these guys whose names I never really bothered to remember. They beat a Tormentor by blowing it up a little, which means that Tormentor was much more of a little bitch than the two we'd fought. Then the game cuts to the cube, which births Chodehead, who's wearing Titan shoulders and a trash can on his head, who gets a phone call from Harrison Ford reminding him that he's got to get to the Vale so he can unleash devastating consequences like making your mouth uncomfortably dry. We talk to Nimrod and Rogaine, whose long-winded introduction basically just boils down to, hello, we're friends now. And then the game soft locks and doesn't trigger Osiris' dialogue, so I have to listen to that all again. Osiris lets us know that we can't let Chodehead get to the Veil or replace dire consequences like one of our nostrils will always be clogged, so we head off to stop him. Nimoy lets us know about the metaverse, but Osiris reminds us that we've got to keep focused on the Veil because if the enemy gets to it first, then we'll face dire consequences like having our inner monologue sound like the TikTok text-to-speech voice. So we rule of three four key cards from some space potatoes so we can rule of three an arbitrary amount of waves of enemies to open a barrier. Steamed incendiar is what I call myself when I burn my toast. Really? Too hard? Trying too hard on that joke? Maybe a little I mean, bit. Like yeah, that was, that, that was like a me joke. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was too clever to be a you joke. I was going to say, that's you. rough to call it a tally you. joke. <laughs> ah! Yeah, but you can't hack it. What the fuck are you it. doing? I'm fighting. This is the next objective. Well, okay, why are you screaming? Oh, because I got uh, shot across the room. <laughs> oh. Also, I just generally existence is scream worthy. Ah! <laughs> Don't you ever just wake up in the morning and think about life and just want to scream? Osiris bitches that we've been taking too long and that Harrison Ford might already have the veil, which would mean devastating consequences like feeling the need to defend a multi-billion dollar company that put out a surprisingly terrible DLC that they're asking $50 to $100 for from legitimate criticisms. Y'all are just haters. And now it's time for a boss fight against some dude, which is the same Cabal boss fight they've been using for years, but with a suppression field to make it even less fun. 
After beating the boss and getting crushed by a drop pod, we find out the Chode had already made it to the Vale, but they've got to dig for it because it's underground. So we've got to stop them before they do that, because if we don't, there'll be devastating consequences like waking up with chronic back pain. Oh, no, wait, that's just going to happen anyways. Nympho lets us know that we've got to stop Chode Head from getting to the Vale because the Metaverse would get destroyed in the process. We head off to destroy the Radial Mast, which is a thing that Chode Head will use to destroy the Vale, so we don't want him to use it because there will be devastating consequences like me repeatedly using this joke over and over forever and ever. Don't worry, I only use this joke three more times. After invading Chode Head's ship, I watch Tally and Matt follow their death, even though this bit is on rails, and we dunk a ball on the first try. First try. First try. We kill another Tormentor and ride another on rails section of the Popsicle Collection. The triumvirates will live on. <laughs> what does he just shout math terms? Uh, pretty much. The circumference of a circle is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does kind of sound. Oh! <laughs> That's, like, that's actually a really good impression of the cadence. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something Rogue would say. So we can write another on rail section to more popsicles, and then to the radial mast, which is just those smaller things that we've seen before, but now it's large. And then we complete this encounter with absolutely no problems whatsoever. You don't remember who Callus is, he's the guy who's like, Grow fat from strength, Guardian. I'm a rich person, which means I'm trustworthy and fun. Guardian, you should vote to uh, lower the tax bracket so that uh, billionaires don't pay their taxes. I have no riches in store for you. <laughs> I thought he said no bitches. <laughs> I have no bitches to offer you. <laughs> Gross insipid. Insipid? What does that mean? That means um, you have a harder time drinking through a straw. Is that actually what it means? No. <laughs> oh my god, you might need to play it. Boy, I die. <laughs> What the fuck? I got revived and went flying across the room. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm just yeah, gonna- I, I couldn't really uh, do anything <laughs> oh, about that. What the fuck? I got uh -oh. blinded and then I insta-died. No, we, we're done. That's it. No, we gotta deliver it. If we deliver it, maybe it'll end. All right. Through. Uh, I'm gonna die before I get there. Oh. Deliver the ball. Dunk. That's how you deliver balls, bitch. No, nope, that didn't oh. work. Oh, 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 oh. We did it. No! no. Yeah, I, I get the run. What the here. fuck is going on with your arms? What the hell? <laughs> what? Wait, what Do you see his arms? Oh yeah, what the up. fuck? Oh! I knocked him off! Oh, he teleports back? That's bullshit. That's lame as hell. If I knock that fucker off, he should stay dead. What? I, I died to the architects. No, I don't have a res either. Shit, then we got 18 seconds to clear. I literally died to the architects. What the fuck killed me? I gotta make it. Wow, that is so unfortunate. I literally just died to the game. Are we good? Nope. Fuck you! We're good! Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, Thank god, it just gave it to us. Now we have to watch Zavala's wife's animated slideshow that she spent all afternoon on trying to impress us, which is just about her daddy issues. We listen to Osiris yell at his boyfriend and talk about Strand-type gameplay and then head off to turn the metaverse off and on again. We use Strand again for all of 30 seconds and then suffer through an arbitrary amount of hordes of milk enthusiasts. And Numnuts tells us that if we can reset the metaverse, then we'll be able to take back the veil from Chodehead so we won't suffer the devastating consequences like bringing back Peter Dinklage to voice the ghost. And then the rest of the mission is fighting an arbitrary amount of milk enthusiasts in extra small rooms and it's really bad and not fun. After resetting the metaverse, we fight an arbitrary amount of space potatoes and then use Strand for another 30 seconds before getting locked into a room with two more Tormentors because someone at Bungie really fucking loves to use these guys to fill time. After stopping the Tormentors from tormenting us, we strand our way outside and get sucked off, I mean out of the ship, and get another tummy ache. Now we have to watch Osiris's animated slideshow that he spent all afternoon on trying to impress us about how light and dark aren't actually good and bad, but more like when you're really constipated and feel terrible, but then you have to take a fat shit and feel lighter and didn't even have to wipe much. Also, there's a river or whatever, but we're the river, but the river is our power that we don't have, but we do have it, and we've got to wax on, wax off, or whatever to learn Strand again. Nixon lets us know where we can find more Strand, but wants to know who he has to kill to get a ghost, and the answer is yourself. You have to kill yourself for a chance to get a ghost. I fucking love roaming supers! No, I, I really don't like roaming supers, actually. Like, Bungie saw that the Titan meme was like, hey, we're punching the sh like we're we're the punchy bitches and then like that was it. Yeah, I remember a lot of people like watching the trailer and they were like, "Here's the the warlock thing. Whoa! Here's the hunter thing. Whoa! Here's the titan thing. You you do a punch." And I will bitch about it till the cows come home. You have the one thing. I hope you like that one thing and one thing only. 
Oh, did the Titan get tired of eating crayons? <laughs> I want different texture of crayon, please. I'm tired of Crayola. I want the crazy art for the love of God. Is that too much to ask? Bungie says yes, that is too much to ask. Just eat your Crayola and be happy. We listen to Osiris going senile, but luckily his sulking is interrupted by an incursion. So we head off to maintain the status quo and use Strand again, but only for a moment until we get a tummy ache. This is worse than just not using it at all. And then we get to use Strand again temporarily just to get another tummy ache, and it's very bad and not fun. Now it's time for a tank section, and it's really lame. We fight another Tormentor, because of course we do, and then go through a boss fight against a guy named Carl. And then we get Strand for a moment, but it ends conveniently right at the moment we actually need it to destroy the radial mast. So Reagan blows himself up and destroys it, because it's not like we could have used any of our guns or regular supers to destroy or something. That was definitely the only option. Then we get another cutscene between Gaul and the, uh, I mean, Chodehead and Harrison Ford, which is just them bitching at each other until Chodehead wimps out. We listen to Nerbs be sad about Reese's, and now we've got to do a side mission. The only point of this mission is to tease Nezarak, which is super fucking lame. And then Nancy complains about how Osiris is just throwing around a bunch of proper nouns so he's zoned out, which is amazingly tone deaf considering that this entire campaign is full of proper nouns that they never explain, so everyone playing will just be checking the fuck out. Also, we find out that Nance's real name is Daru Danu, and that's actually what it is, I'm not making that up. We listen to Nini give a Marvel superhero speech, and our guardian actually gives orders for the first time in his fucking life. And then we get to a montage of us getting disintegrated, learning to use Strand, which is about right. Also, this cutscene bugs the fuck out, and Osiris' cloak starts freaking out, which is apparently a bug that happens to everyone at this part. Congrats, we've mastered Strand now, except we actually still get exhausted and stop using it, we just don't get a tummy ache anymore. Hooray. After going through a dumb puzzle, we plug into the grid from the original Tron movie, and this is the worst part of this entire campaign. You go through a little parkour gauntlet that ends with a circular room with an evil zappy grid in it and then fight three waves of milk enthusiasts and then a boss but if you die you have to restart from the beginning the very beginning this part took 40 minutes this flexibility is unmatched now show Look your fighting prowess god this flexibility is unmatched Guardian, I want you to really fucking hate me so that when I die at the end of this campaign, you won't be sad. But I'm not going to die at the end of this campaign, am I? Because that would be too obvious. So we're just going to kill off that one random dude and no one else. Now, show your fighting prowess. There, there is something I really fucking hate about NPCs that are like, Oh, you just need to try harder. Or, oh, you're doing great when you're just that you're the only one doing anything. It feels really fucking condescending. Or like when they're like, well, we did great! It's like, you didn't fucking do anything! The, the music sounds like a news broadcast. This just in! Bungie fucks up again! Destiny still isn't fun! Except for people who play Destiny fucking religiously and they're like, Oh no, we promise! Witch Queen is actually really, really good and not just good for a Destiny campaign. Please play Destiny! I have no friends left! Fucking ow, <laughs> asshole. That's too real. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's killing me? What the fuck was that? Did you get too close to the red wall? No, I just fucking died for no reason. Fuck that. What the hell? It was like the floor was killing me. Does the wall burn you if you get near it? Yeah, it does. Maybe that is what killed me that one time. I didn't touch it, though. And I was behind it. No, you, you you just can't get near it, like, period. <sighs> okay, well, I guess that's what killed me that one time, then. I don't know. Flow like the river. Flow like the river. Woo! Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down the night. Do, 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 do. Get down the night. <laughs> Holy shit. This game sucks. This part is ass. I wanna die. Do do do. How long have we been on this fucking part? I don't know. Probably less time than we think. It just feels like forever. It feels like forever. No one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head. I remember songs. Can't sing them well, but I remember them. Yeah, just keep running and don't even engage Aww. the ads at this point. Okay, they're dead. Holy fucking shit. Oh, oh, oh. We're done. We did it, chat. Time for phase three. <laughs> Swear to God. Impressive. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Osiris. Man, we can do it again. Shut the fuck up, ghost. 
Fortunately, there's only one mission left. Unfortunately, the final mission also sucks. Osiris tries to hype us up, but we're really just sick of his shit at this point, and then my PC crashed because it really didn't want me to continue playing Lightfall. I should have taken the hint. We get Strand to fight some anti-aircraft guns, and of course there's another Tormentor, because why wouldn't there be? And now it's time to try out the brand new secret weapon. It's the Hammer of Dawn. Like, exactly the Hammer of Dawn. Wow. You only have one goal. Keep them from the veil. Really? You can't shoot that, you can't shoot that really? down? Really? That's so fucking lame! Oh my god. Fucking ridiculous! If you're gonna rip off the Hammer of Dawn, like, go the full way! Let us destroy fucking ships, that's so fucking lame! Holy shit! Also, this section is just wave defense for an arbitrary amount of time, and of course, there's two more Tormentors. Chode Head shows up and blows up the Vault of the Veil, which is bad because if they reach the Veil before us, then there will be devastating consequences, like waiting an entire year to see if the next expansion is actually good or just dog shit again. We find the Veil, and it's just a psychedelic floor butthole. What does it do? We don't know. Seven hours into this campaign, the very fucking end, and we still don't know what this does. And we won't, they never tell you. Anyways, now it's time to fight Chodehead, and this part took 20 minutes because this boss fight sucks. It's a reskinned Colossus fight with two giant tormentors and an arena full of incendiors that'll bump you off the platforms, and then phase two is just a reskinned gladiator. Cut to us holding Kvostov, that gun we used at the very beginning of the first game, which is just cock tease because we won't be using it. Our ghost gets possessed by Harrison Ford and ascends into the ceiling butthole, but Nanny grabs our ghost out of the veil, but not before they can activate the veil. Oh no, now we're going to face all those consequences, like, uh, well, Harrison Ford cuts a triangle into the death egg and then floats into a psychedelic dimension. And that's it. I'm serious, that's where it ends. What happened? No one knows. Not even Bife knows, and that's how you know you fucked up. Game over. Special thanks to my patrons whose continued support makes these videos possible. If you want to support the channel as well, there's a link in the description.